For 131 years, Families First has empowered Atlanta's most vulnerable populations. Today, we serve more than 16,000 families each year. Let's take a walk back in time and see how we've transformed our services to meet the ever-evolving needs of our families. In 1890, Families First started as an orphanage on Atlanta's west side and what is now the Spelman College campus. Then and today, children and families suffered from the pressures of poverty, dislocation, and rapid social and economic change. In 1937, we became the first licensed adoption agency in the state of Georgia. Since 1942, Families First has provided counseling services to Metro Atlanta families, one of the key ways we ensure the holistic success of children and their families. In 1964, we opened the first group home, now called Cooperatives, for young people in the state. And in 1987, we adopted the name Families First, a direct recognition of our North Star and why and how we do our work. In 1989, we developed a curriculum that more than 200 communities across the country now use to help divorcing parents learn how to co-parent their children. In 2014, almost 125 years after we began, and thanks to our successful mission and services, we outgrew our main office in Midtown. That fall, we launched the Family Matters Capital Campaign to renovate the former E.R. Carter School on the west side. And in the summer of 2016, we moved into our new home and returned to our west side community roots. Last year, Families First launched our new mission, Building Resilient Families So All Children Can Thrive. Our Navigator Care model is the foundation of this new mission, and our navigators are the boots on the ground to help families strengthen and build resilience. Each family's path is different. Our navigators are there with them every step of the way. We invite you to join us as we write our next 100-year chapter, one that will continually rise to the challenges of our times and empower families to be their strongest and most resilient selves. And together, we will all thrive.